Uh, Corey, let's start right there. Let's start with why did you want Harper Pack to cease activity? Well, because I think it's confusing, prob probably deliberately so, uh, with the, their choice of name. Uh, starting an organization in somebody else's name, raising money and running advertising uh, would leave you with the impression uh, as a reasonable person that, uh, uh, that the Conservative Party or the Prime Minister were somehow involved in that organization. Of course, uh, they're not. Uh, so, you know, if, if someone wants to actually help the Conservative campaign run ads and that sort of thing, we would encourage them to make a donation to the Conservative Party of Canada and uh, we, uh, we would welcome that. But that is us. Uh, Harper Pack is not us. But is your objection to the name or is your objection to the idea of a political action committee? Well, it, 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 it is allowed under law to have groups out there doing these sorts of things with certain restrictions on their activities. So, you know, it, we're not taking issue with their, their right to, for someone to, to do these sorts of things. What we're taking issue with is deliberately misleading people into thinking this is somehow the Conservative Party or the Prime Minister when it's neither. These were, the, the, the people behind this, though, were pretty well-known conservative operatives from across the country. Uh, they even listed their names on the, on the website. Uh, at any point, did any of these closely connected conservatives come to the Conservative Party and say, hey, what do you think of this? Uh, no. No, they did not. And uh, as I say, irrespective of how well-intentioned these people might have been, uh, I think it's very ill-conceived to, to uh, embark on this sort of uh, activity where you're taking the Prime Minister's name and using it to raise money for yourself and to put ads on air. Why did you wait a week before asking them to shut down? Well, we've been reviewing what legal options are available for us to, uh, to uh, uh, end this practice. Were you going to sue them? Uh, we're look we have looked at all options. Uh, it's obviously not uh, really germane anymore. They've uh, shut down on their own accord. Did you threaten to sue them? Uh, I'm not going to get into uh, all the details of that, but we were pursuing, uh, 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 aggressively pursuing what legal options were available to us to end that confusion. A re-elected Conservative government, would you bring in changes to the law to further restrict or regulate third-party groups uh, operating in Canada? Well, I'm not going to make uh, policy uh, uh, announcements or platform announcements today, but uh, uh, it's a good question. So might, might you have something to say about this later on? We might, we might not. Oh, okay. I want to move on to something else that you've been involved with this week. Um, and that is the latest online ad uh, that you've got out there where you use uh, imagery from ISIS and you use the ISIS anthem. How is that not in contravention of Bill C-51? Well, it's a very similar to what you do on the news uh, every day here at Global when there's... Well, we don't run the ISIS national anthem and we don't run... Uh, hey, I've seen images uh, from ISIS videos on every newscast in this in this country and in other countries as well. Well, that's it's, news. Uh, well, it's also part of the debate as to what is it that we're going to do about that issue. You know, ISIS is a real threat. Uh, the, the, the activities that they're up to are uh, barbaric in the extreme. They are uh, very disturbing, I think, to all Canadians. Uh, and so the why that run we, their videos? Why run their songs? Well, this is the choice. This is the choice between do we do something about this threat or do we do nothing? No, but the why are you right? Party, why are you showing those videos and running their song? Because it's germane to the choice before us in this election. How is it germane? Well, we have one party that thinks that we... Uh, no, how is that video and that song wait, germane? I'm answering your question if you want to let me answer it. Uh, it's germane because the choice is between uh, one political party, the Conservative Party of Canada, uh, that would uh, continue our bombing mission to protect uh, civilians and religious minorities uh, in Syria and Iraq, and two other political parties uh, that would stop uh, those efforts. So it's very central, I think, to the, the choice that will be before Canadians this election, and, and therefore we're going to make that uh, choice uh, clear in the, now, the realest you possible terms. You said you were going to answer the question, and of course you didn't. In what way is the ISIS anthem and ISIS video 
germane to a debate? Well, because that's who the enemy is. That's who we're fighting. So how is their video and their song germane to that discussion? That's who they are. That's who the enemy is. Okay. Uh, Bill C-51 was brought in and promoted by your government as, among other things, to prevent people from putting online any video that promotes terrorism and ISIS. Haven't you just done that? No. Why? What we're doing is no different than what you do uh, on the news, which is... But you're not news. You're there no, advertising. We're better than news. We're truthful. So Sorry, say that again? I said we're, we're doing a, a, a version... No, what did you just say? I'm saying what we're doing you're is... You're better very, than us because you're truthful? Is that no, what you no, just we're, said? No, we're, we're putting forward the choice. No, no, you, what did you just say? Well, let me finish the thought. You no, you said, me. I just want you to repeat what you just said. I'm saying what we're doing is, is better than what we're talking about in terms of it's a choice that'll be before Canadians during the election campaign. But wait a second, you said you are better than news because you're truthful. Well, it's, I think it's a very real choice, Tom. We, we're not going to, we're not going to uh, step back from the real decision that's, that's in front of Canadians today, okay? This is a life and death matter for people who are living in that region. Uh, it is a poisonous ideology that is spread around the world. It's motivating people uh, to commit attacks in countries, not just in Canada, but elsewhere around the world. It's very central to the choice that will be here this election campaign. And it's a very, uh, I think, interesting issue uh, in terms of how you have one party on one side of that, to, uh, you know, the, the decision to take action directly, you know, bombing missions, etc., cetera, uh, and two other parties that say they would stop doing that. So I think it's absolutely, you know, it is a polarizing issue for some people. We're going to talk about it in, in very real, very truthful, very frank terms. Let me ask you finally this. If another group that wanted to join this debate that you're talking about decided that they too were going to post online terrorist imagery, terrorist videos, and terrorist songs, as you have, are you okay with that? You okay with people posting terrorist videos and songs online? Well, I, I think you're trying to make a false choice here. We're talking about what, uh, uh, what the position of the Liberal Party in this particular case no, is. We, no, I'm uh, talking... Versus I'm, what our position is and who no, the enemy talking, is. No, I'm asking you because you've defended your use of terrorist video and terrorist songs by saying, well, that's part of the debate. So I'm asking you, if any, anybody else wants to be generally part of this debate, presumably you would not object to anybody else doing what you've done, which is to use terrorist video and terrorist songs. Well, I'm not going to answer a hypothetical. You're asking me to comment on some hypothetical ad or use that uh, I've not seen, so I'm not going to do that. But you've done something and you're not prepared to say whether it's okay for other people to do that. You know, you're asking me to comment on a, on a hypothetical ad or usage of a video that I haven't seen. So do, do I support uh, our ad and our video, our use of that in terms of uh, a contrast with the position of the, the Liberal Party in this case? Yes, uh, obviously we support that. Will uh, you be using more terrorist video as the campaign goes on? Uh, well, wait and see. All right, we will. Thank you very much.